Number eight, Patton. The very thought of losing is hateful to America. As patriotic a biopic as you'll ever likely see, this movie retells the story of the American general George S. Patton. A major player in World War II, Patton was an ace in the hand for the American troops. All my life, I've wanted to lead a lot of men in a desperate battle. His outspokenness was often controversial, but his value on the battlefield was undeniable. Did a whole column get stalled and straight on account of a couple of jackasses? What the hell is the matter with you? Rod Steiger turned down the part of Patton, allowing George C. Scott to step into his big boots. It turned out to be a career-defining role in an Oscar-winning movie. I will be proud to lead you wonderful guys into battle anytime, anywhere. Number seven, The Pianist. I hereby order the old Jews in the Warsaw district will wear visible emblems when out of doors. Vladislav Spilman's is a World War II story so personal and so painful, it has modern day audiences reminding themselves it wasn't a one-off, that the real life Spilman was one of a huge number. We follow the Polish Jewish musician as he flees from hiding place to hiding place, from labor camp to labor camp. You must get away at once. Why do you want me to go? I look at me, I'm not leaving. I can't I take my chances here. He's a gifted pianist, but fear prevents him from playing. However, in moments where music is heard, it's beautiful but also chilling, much like this movie. Number six, The Bridge on the River Kwai. When Burmese railroad construction reaches the shores of the River Kwai, the responsibility for bridge building is given to Japanese Colonel Saito. My name is Nicholson. I am Colonel Saito. He promptly passes the labor onto a group of captured British soldiers. And what follows is a strange cyclical tale of individual pride and national patriotism. You may have overlooked the fact that the use of officers for manual labor is expressly forbidden by the Geneva Convention. The British build the bridge as a testament to their ability. The Japanese need it to aid their logistics. And for some, the bridge is entirely, unquestionably unwanted. Are they both mad? Or am I going mad? Out come the pin. Number five, The Great Escape. Interesting idea. When the Nazis captured this batch of POWs, they didn't know the trouble they had let themselves in for. Steve McQueen as Captain Hiltz leads an escape attempt from within an inescapable camp, bringing together a quite unique resistance movement. Well, we sneak out at night to a spot I found near the wire, a blind spot. Then we dig straight down three feet, take the dirt, spread it on top so it won't make a pile, and then straight out. A movie that's remembered for all of the little things as well. We've all tried to mimic Steve McQueen's baseball against the wall trick. And everyone's absent-mindedly hummed the theme tune at some point in their lives. See, you're doing it now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> das Boat, or The Boat, is as concerned with life in between battles as it's concerned by the experience during them. How does it look in the engine room? Mm -hmm. It's messed up quite badly. Be able to patch up at sea? Already started. Much of Das Boat is a representation of the chronic tedium that seafaring soldiers felt. The cabin fever is infectious, and as the submarine sinks lower, the pressure rises in more ways than one. The battle scenes are brutal, the boredom scenes are bleak, and as the German tagline claims, it's what war is all about. Do you think we have a chance, sir? Good question. Number two, Schindler's List. The list is an absolute good. The list. Is life. It's a directorial masterclass that doesn't shy away from a grueling story. It's multi-award winning and deservedly so. 
Steven Spielberg had initially been unsure if he could make a movie about the Holocaust. But Schindler's List is proof that he most definitely can. I hear your name goes on a list and it puts you on trucks. And no, 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 that's not true. You're a musician? Yeah. 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 I'd find a good hiding place if I were you. I'm not going to hide like some animal. There are places to hide. Liam Neeson plays real-life German businessman Oskar Schindler in this modern meets classic black and white film. Some days, this is all going to end, you know. I was going to say we'll have a drink then. I think I better have it now. Schindler had arrived in Krakow looking to make money, but he soon turns his attention to saving lives by sheltering Jews from the Nazis. His story's inspirational and the movie's iconic. <laughs> Gold. Two more people would have given me two for at least one. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Look, it's all gone. That was the civic hall. We ate lunch there once. Lonely house now. You ever get lonely? Only around people. It's my guess that a lot of you guys won't be coming back. But there's no sense of squawking about that, right? Because the Army never did love you anyway. And besides, you all volunteered, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's more than I did. Jesus, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm Number one, Saving Private Ryan. Gold and silver go to Spielberg. The first half hour of our top ranked film is probably one of the greatest pieces of modern cinema. It's awful, it's atmospheric, it's unrivaled. Yes, it is. The following two hours are equally enthralling, emotional, and epic. That's why we can't take children. As Tom Hanks and his squad travel overland and through all sorts of danger, they do so with one man in their sights, Private Ryan. Your brothers were killed in combat. Which, which one? All. A seemingly mini mission in a great grand battle. Their story is a reminder of the sheer scale and significance of World War II. My goodness, my fortress, my high tower, and my 